In this short video, we're going to demonstrate how to push one of your keynote uh, presentations out to a recording while you're doing your lecture. This is very helpful for a Bible class or a lecture or a presentation because what can happen then basically is an audio track is laid down while you're actually doing your keynote and it will chew it all up so that you'll have your transitions taking place. So once you're done your recording and you've got or your presentation, you've got all your transitions in place, make sure you've got it saved. And then what we're going to do is under the play menu, you have the choice of actually recording the slideshow. So if you click on the record slideshow button, on the main monitor, you're going to have this image here. But on your secondary monitor, uh, which is your Mac laptop, you have the ability to have uh, this recording that takes place. Now one of the functions of Keynote that is critical to this is having your uh, play slideshow set up. So when you have the play button, you can actually have a customized presenter display. When you click on this, it gives you the option to configure your display. In this case, I have three screens set up, um, but you'll usually just have two. Um, in our case here, we have the, um, the color LCD, um, the Thunderbolt, and the Sync Master. So we're going to actually click on the, uh, the Thunderbolt display, and we're going to configure this and say we want to have our slideshow on the Thunderbolt display. And then we're going to have on our color LCD, uh, this is where we're actually going to have our presenter and display. So it's going to show us the current slide, the next slide. If you wanted, you can show out the presenter notes, but you also have your clock and your timer. So all these things will show up on your color LCD display, which is your laptop, while your main screen, which in our case probably would be an LCD projector of some kind, um, would have the slideshow running. Now, if you look down the bottom, you'll notice there's a little uh, microphone button here. You want to make sure that it's not muted. Now, muted is when this is blue uh, and got a line through it. So not muted means that it's going to pick up the audio from you as you are doing your presentation. And when you hit the record button, it's going to start recording and it will do the countdown, three, two, one, and it will then begin recording and it will, uh, it tells you here it's recording and it will pick up the microphone noise here and then as you click through your presentation it's going to basically record what is taking place on the screen so it's going to lay your recording track down here and the audio is going to be recorded and it's going to record your presentation uh, along with your transitions at the same time and you'll notice here it's got a green line across the top that means that this is the current slide and then when you hit the button, the red shows that it's in transition. And then when you click again, it just goes through your different slides. So you're going to lay your recording down here. And when you're finished, the presentation, and it's usually before I sit down, I will click the stop recording button. And you're going to see that there is a recording layer laid down here. Um, and basically, you're just simply going to close your presentation this time, at this point in time and make sure that you save it. Once your recording is completed, you should make sure that you save your recording so that everything is preserved uh, before you go ahead and do the export. That way, if there's a problem with the export, you won't have the issue of losing your data. And then basically what you're going to do is export this. So you go to the file menu and you have a choice there of exporting to and you can choose QuickTime. So QuickTime gives you the option of sending this out uh, play back the slideshow recording and then you have the choice and we usually pick 1080p which gives you the wide format and you say next and this process will then begin uh, usually we just put it on the desktop and you'll export this and it will go through and it will create the movie now this can take a period of time because it's taking your slides and your audio and timing it all and pushing it out and the file size can be fairly large so you have to make sure that you have enough data on your desktop then you can upload your movie and uh, the, the video can be processed.